Hey folks, Machine Repeat here. Next Saturday, March 16th, 2013, I'll be back down in Leland, Illinois, just west of Chicago, down to cover the annual uh, Leland Lions Club consignment auction. And I've been down the last two years, and boy, just had a ball. This auction is something, folks. It's it's really a, a festival, a celebration of the small farming town of Leland, Illinois. Um, this sale starts in the morning and just cranks all day. And right along the railroad tracks run through Leland there, there's literally over a mile long line of machinery with anything and everything you can imagine. Late model stuff, antique, a little bit of everything. Just a fun day for, for young and old. And this year's auction has one particular tractor that uh, I really want to shine the spotlight on. It is, it's a 1970 John Deere 2020 uh, that's been restored. And it was restored by the employees of uh, the local John Deere dealership, their AHW, Aaron's Hogan Walker, uh, in Salmonock, Illinois. And the good folks, the employees there at, at Salmonock, uh, bought this tractor, restored it, and it'll sell on the auction on Saturday, March 16th. And all the, the proceeds will go to benefit uh, Tom Belinsky. Now, Tom is a 25-year-old guy from Leland, Illinois there who worked at AHW in Salmonock as a service uh, technician there. And unfortunately, Tom has, has cancer. And uh, it's a tough prognosis. Um, and he was a, you know, a beloved employee there. And the folks wanted to pull together and help Tom. Um, so they'll be selling this tractor. Now what I want to do is talk to Eric Danielson with the Leland Lions Club, and we'll learn a little bit more about this tractor and the auction. And then also we'll visit with Eric Christian, uh, service manager with the AHW in Salmonock, Illinois. Hey folks, Machine Repeat here, and I'm with my friend Eric Danielson with the Leland Lions Club out of Leland, Illinois. And Eric, good to see you again. Good to see you, Greg. Well, we have our your annual auction, the Leland Lions Club sale coming up uh, uh, Saturday, March sixteenth, two thousand thirteen. Uh, why don't you tell us about the sale, Eric? Well, we've got a good auction lineup again for twenty thirteen. We'll be starting at nine a.m. on the sixteenth. Um, of course, our auction is uh, mostly farm equipment, farm related items. We do have lawn and garden items. We also have cars and pickup trucks. Um, we have uh, several hay racks of farm-related items, tools, power tools, and equipment. And then we do get some uh, few building materials in, and then some pretty decent selection of nursery stock in, as well as uh, livestock equipment. Wow! So it's yeah, looking I, like a good lineup again for this year. And I, you know, I, thanks for the invite. I've come down to the last two sales, Eric, and I, I tell people wherever I go the. About the most fun I have going to auctions these days uh, is is dropping in at the Leland Lions Club auction in Leland, Illinois. It's just a, it's like a festival of Leland, Illinois. There, it's really quite fun. If, if folks haven't been, uh, boy, they really should do themselves a favor and stop into the auction. There's literally something for everyone out there. Yes, there sure is. We uh, it's uh, it's the biggest event in the town uh, in the entire year. And uh, we typically get somewhere around 2,500 registered buyers, and uh, we have around 550 or so consigners. And I'm guessing, but I would say we have somewhere around 3,500 to 5,000 people in the little town on that day. So it's a it's a big deal for us. You bet. Well, now, Eric, I understand there's one particular tractor on this year's auction, uh, kind of some special meaning with local ties there. Uh, uh, a John Deere 2020 that's been refurbished with a John Deere 48 loader that the local uh, John Deere dealer has put on the auction for a benefit for uh, a gentleman uh, right from Leland. Why don't you tell us the story there? Yeah, Tom is a local resident of Leland, and uh, he's um, he's got some uh, really difficult health problems. So the employees at, uh, at our local Deere dealership got together, and uh, they they had a 2020 deer they took in on trade that was in pretty rough condition and they've completely re, re, uh, reconditioned this tractor all the way engine transmission rear end hydraulics and uh, it's really a nice looking 2020 I, I saw it last Saturday got some pictures of it I'd say the tractor looks better than it did when it came out of the factory new so the employees have gotten together 
to uh, uh, restore this tractor, and it's all a completely employee-funded thing at uh, our local deer dealer. And uh, they've uh, consigned it on the auction, and all the proceeds are going to go toward Tom to help him with his uh, his medical bills and other things that are building up because of his health problems. And that's uh, Tom Belinsky, is that correct? Yes, it is. Okay. Yes, it is. And I understand, gosh, Tom is only 25 years old, young fellow? Yeah, he, he's a young man, you know, to have this these kinds of issues. And I was talking to uh, Carl Tierwold and Eric Christensen over at the Deer Dealer, and you know, as we were talking, it really hit me. I'm I'm 52 years old. I've I've already had double the lifespan that uh, that he is he's had, and uh, he's faced significant problems that man a young man like that should never have to deal with. So right. we want to try to do all we can to help him. Right, absolutely. Well, just another case of uh, you and the, the good folks here in Leland with the Lions Club pulling together to do something uh, to help people. Uh, Hey folks, Machinery Pete here, and I'm on the line with Eric Christian with AHW, a uh, large John Deere dealer out of Illinois there, out of Salmonock. And uh, Eric, we're just looking at a, a picture of the John Deere 2020 with the John Deere 48 loader that I, I understand you and the good folks at AHW, uh, all the employees kind of got together uh, to help out Tom here. Um, and this tractor will be on the Leland auction. Why don't you tell us about the tractor? Uh, we basically got the tractor uh, traded in from a local farmer. Uh, needed quite a bit of work. We uh, pretty much it was a complete disassemble, uh, engine overhaul. It's got a four-cylinder uh, gas engine. Um, rebuilt the hydraulic pump. Uh, new uh, brakes and discs in the rear end. Uh, all the cylinders on the loader are rebuilt, uh, repainted. You know, it's a pretty top-notch tractor now. New tires. Yeah, looks sharp. And again, this will be on the on the big community auction in Leland there. Uh, and the, the proceeds will go to benefit uh, Tom Belinsky, who I understand Tom's, what, 25 years old and he's an uh, employee of AHW there? Yes, correct. And uh, what was Tom's position with the dealership? Uh, Tom was, a, he was our setup technician. Uh, he was responsible for uh, setting up all of our new equipment and then... Uh, he also did some reconditioning of our used equipment. Okay. And, uh, again, Tom, unfortunately, was it cancer uh, he has? Yeah, he, uh, the correct term is uh, metastatic melanoma is what he has. It's a, it's a terminal cancer. Okay. And, uh, again, just 25 years old, kind of just getting started out in life. And you were saying uh, got engaged and bought a house, and then the cancer kind of came back on all at the same time there, huh? Correct, yep. Well, it's, yeah, it's a tough tough situation but boy what a great thing you guys at AHW now you were telling me Eric that employees kind of pulled together and, and so this was the tractor that you bought and, and everyone chipped in their own time and, and effort on, on getting this tractor where it is right now yeah there was uh, numerous employees here that uh, put in quite a bit of time uh, to get the tractor ready uh, we also had some local businesses that were able to uh, either donate some of their labor for different items that we had done uh, or, or products that needed to be purchased for. Right. So it was a good effort by everyone to uh, help out. Right. Well, again, this, this tractor and loader will be on the on the sale uh, next Saturday, March 16th in Leland, Illinois, and all the proceeds going to uh, Tom Belinsky uh, to help in his uh, fight with cancer there. Uh, 25 years old, uh, employee of AHW uh, dealership here. And throughout Illinois, so again, hats off, Eric, for what you and the folks at HW have done with this tractor. It's beautiful. Um, I'll be down at the auction covering it, and again, we want to raise awareness and uh, see if we can help out Tom. Um, this year would be, I believe, our 31st year. Okay. And I may not have that exactly right, but it's about the 31st year we've had the auction. Okay. And again, like like I've seen the last two years, tremendous crowds and and uh, active bidding and a variety of, of everything for sale and then again the proceeds that you guys make on the sale you guys put back into the local community and region uh, why don't you talk about that Eric? We do a lot in the local community um, with uh, with the service to the school mm -hmm. you know like like all rural school districts Leland's uh, has a hard time now with property values dropping and so on 
And so that if they have certain needs, typically if they're uh, related to sight and sound um, or um, uh, students with disabilities, we'll try to address those needs the best we can. Right. Um, one thing we did recently, we funded a pretty large purchase of new uh, computers and technology for the school because um, if kids getting out of school now don't have the latest and greatest in front of them, they're already behind the eight ball and they right. hit the workforce. And uh, we've also funded uh, projects for students that have sight sound problems. Maybe they have uh, some uh, um, issues with mobility. So we try to help the school all we can. We also help other local organizations such as uh, the Open Door, which um, serves people with disabilities. It's a, they have a sheltered workshop also and a lot of day programming, as well as residential facilities. Right. Um, Equine Dreams, it's a... Um, it's a um, uh, hippotherapy um, therapeutic riding center uh, that's nearby. We help them. And then we also branch out into uh, other areas that need help, such as uh, Lions International does a lot of work in country and overseas to help people with sight and sound problems, right. funding cataract clinics over in countries where you know, it's almost a miracle for someone to actually get cataract surgery because they've been blind most of their life, and through a Lions-funded cataract surgery, this person can see again. Right. So the Lions Club main issue, main mission is uh, sight and sound, and, and but we try to serve everywhere there is a, a need. Well, I tell you, Eric, making the world a better place locally and beyond, that's it's a beautiful thing, what you guys do there, and giving your time. You know, we're all so busy these days, but uh, giving your time through the Lions Club organization and creating an event like you have, you know, a celebration of Leland with this auction, just fantastic. And, again, the auction is next Saturday, March 16th. Uh, your guys' yes, website again, Eric, is, what is your website? It's www, of course, LelandLionsClub.com. Okay. And so sale fun. bills posted there, and that's where the latest and greatest is as, as equipment comes in. We take photographs and post them up on the website so people can, that's the best place to go for the latest uh, right. listings. Now, years past, I know right down Main Street there, I think, well, I'm not sure if it's Main Street or First Avenue or, or along, the, along the railroad, it's been literally over a mile of equipment. Are, are we going to have a nice long line again this year? It sure looks like it. Um, we always wonder. Um, we always wonder what we're what is going to come in, but it sure looks like we're going to have a similar. Uh, length of equipment a mile or more again this year well yeah. i i can't wait to come down next saturday to the sale eric i'll be there shooting some video and covering the sale and you guys do a great job putting it on great food at the auction too oh yes there's plenty to choose from the local fire department uh runs a kitchen across the street and then several of the churches and other organizations do also the methodist church is right down the street set up usually and the lutheran church so uh Plenty of good food to have and uh, good fun, and there's just about something there for just about anyone that you could possibly want when it comes to this auction. All right. Um, it really brings in quite a variety. Just one more but, machine repeat request for you here, Eric. Sure. Now, last year it was 81 degrees on sale day in mid-March. <laughs> Can you get me some 70s again this year? I No guarantees? I, that's a tall order. I think that was a fun <laughs> I think that was a once in a lifetime. I uh, I remember that morning getting ready, and we were just about to start. And I was working with Mike Espy and his auction truck, and I saw him get out the sunblock, and I said, "Hey, can I borrow some of that?" And he said, "God," he said, "I'm glad I left this in here from last year." He said, "I never would have dreamed I'd need it in March." Well, Mike, I know Mike. He's a sharp guy there. Yeah, we might have 10 degrees. It might be 70, but regardless of the weather, it'll be a fantastic day. And you guys do a great job, Eric. And Thanks again for giving us the info on this year's sale, and uh, we'll see you next Saturday. Okay, thank you much, uh, Greg. And if I could just mention, I want to be sure that the people listening or watching understand that this auction is a, is a real team effort, and it goes back, you know, the 30 years we've had many people who started this that, for whatever reason, are no longer involved. And, right. and we, we have to give great thanks to all the people that have been involved in this auction from the very beginning, all those that are still involved and all those that are maybe not involved anymore for whatever reason they're not. But there was a great team of people over this 30 years that made all this happen. And uh, we really owe them a great, uh, great uh, debt of gratitude. 
Uh, well said, Eric. And uh, again, uh, it was fun to meet a lot of the Lions Club members the last couple years. And yeah, you guys started this thing. You kept it going, and it's growing, and it, it's a fantastic day, and uh, it's a beautiful event. So we'll look forward to it. Thanks. All right. Thanks, Eric.